Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. So I just wanted to give you guys a close look at the custom scales that I just finished for the Cold Steel 8010. Now this material is butterscotch paper micarta. I picked this up at Blade Show West, or sorry, Blade Show Texas from Current Composites. And I'll leave a link down below to their website where you guys can check out their stuff. But I just thought this was a beautiful material. And the uh, vintage paper micarta has that that darker uh, that darker top and then when you cut into it you get this butterscotch uh, hence the name uh, inner intersection where it just looks really really beautiful especially when you put a little texture on it so I ended up doing leaving a thin layer of that darker top which is it's really popular in the knife community and I think it looks good definitely gives it some character but wanted to show you guys up close if the camera can pick it up. I did put a, or what I like to call a micro swirl finish. You can see right there in the light. I just think it looks better than straight lines or a buffed finish. I'm not a fan of like shiny scales. Uh, and I know, I know these are shiny, the, uh, the fat carbon ones. We'll get those in, we'll get to those in just a moment, but uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is a clear or glossy finish. I'm just not a fan of that. Plus, it makes it really slick in hand. But that micro swirl finish definitely makes it a little bit more grippy. Not a lot grippier, if you will, but definitely a little bit more uh, grippy in hand. And let's open it up so you guys can see what it looks like. Again, just really love the butterscotch. I think it looks really, really good. And I don't think I've ever seen a cold steel with... Uh, butterscotch uh, vintage paper my car to scales before so I figured why not give it a go and I left the pocket clip off just so you guys can see the uh, the full the full set of scales in their entirety and also to mention that these will be up on the website they are for sale so if you guys are interested I'll leave a link down in the description below so again if you guys are interested they will be up there and I also left the pocket clip off because since they are up for sale, I didn't want to uh, ruin the finish. You know how pocket clips leave their little mark on the scale. So that is why. But just really, really happy with the outcome. The beveled edges all done by hand. Uh, this is probably the most time consuming part of the scales. Since it's, uh, again, very time consuming. But well worth it. Made sure they came out really, really good. I also added the micro swirl finish on the beveled edges. If the light can pick it up. But again, really pleased with these. Love that dark strip or uh, stripe on this vintage paper micarta. Or I guess what Current Composite is calling it is their butterscotch paper micarta. Either way, it looks really good. Very happy with it. And the action on this is still very, very smooth. Uh, I didn't even put oil or anything on the washers. So dry is running smooth. So I can only imagine when it is nice and looped up. But let's take a quick look at the Fat Carbon Brass Snakeskin Scales. Uh, this is a type of carbon fiber, but Fat Carbon makes beautiful, beautiful stuff. So you guys can see here. One thing I really love about using the Snakeskin Fat Carbon is when you contour it. I also forgot to mention I did contour these scales, both of them. So they are comfortable in hand, but over here you can see it's very nicely contoured, or heavily contoured, and it gives that that really nice, uh, I guess, kind of a sound wave effect with the brass, or the carbon fiber and brass, and just gives it a, a better look in my opinion. And then obviously when you add the beveled edges, it just looks really, really pretty, and you get a different effect in this gorgeous material. Of course, I added my logo. Can't can't send the product out without the uh, work being signed. So there's the my initials NC. But yeah, these look really, really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install these onto the knife and we'll get a better look of it all assembled. And with the power of editing, I will have it switched up here in just a moment. So here is the knife with the fat carbon scales installed. Again, really, really pleased with these. And as always, the Fat Carbon just dances in the light and just shows off that really, really cool pattern. 
there it is, or there's the beveled edges. Again, it shows off a, a slightly different pattern, so you can see from the top side. But just really, really cool stuff. Here's the pocket clip side. Uh, and what's cool about these scales is, or this knife in general, is that it is ambidextrous, so lefty and righties can use the pocket clip. And from what I know, every 8010 that I've purchased comes with a, a left-hand carry pocket clip in the package. So that's really awesome of cold steel. So definitely an option when it comes to custom scales as well for the 8010. So really, really pleased with this one. Here it is opened up. And yeah, I can't stop looking at it. But as always, you guys, let me know down below what you guys think of how these things turned out. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, these are available up on my website. As far as the action goes, still really, really smooth. Again, there's no oil on the washers, but flies right out, no problem. Drop shed is really good once it's oiled up, or if you fine tune the pivot pin, but overall just really, really good action in general for the 8010. And as always, you guys, I really, really appreciate the support, and I should have more scales coming here pretty soon, not only for the 8010, but some, some other models as well. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next one.